Hello, my name is Peter Hankovic with the Ohio Global Solutions and Support Services team. This video is about the configuration and use of the Avaya or Utility Services directory application. With the directory application, you can use the 46 or 96x IP desk phones built in WMF browser interface to search in an RDAP compliant directory database. The IP desk phone WMF browser reconnected the utility services directory application interface and it provides the phone with the WML search page. The search page provided can be customized, where the search fields can be met with the LDAP search attributes. The directory application will then connect to the LDAP server and perform the requested search and offer the IP desk phone user with the results, which may be then directly contacted or dialed. This is the graphical representation of the previous and subsequent slide. The IP phone will reach out to the directory application running on the utility services that in turn provides with the search page. The user can use the desk phone's browser to fill in the search fields and submit the page. This will generate an add-up binding and request with the add-up server. The add-up server provides the search results which the directory application will present to the user via the IP phone's browser interface. These are the steps we are going to go through in this video. Enabling the WML browser of the IP phone by populating the WML home parameter in the IP desk phone configuration file called 46xx settings.txt, pointing the phone's browser start page to the utility services virtual machine's IP address and landing page. Configuring the directory application, pointing to the LDAP or Active Directory database, define search fields and attributes, and perform a test search and dial the search results that is a phone number. As a first step, we are going to modify the IP phone configuration files called the 46xx settings.txt. Open up the utility services admin web pages and log in with admin account. Scroll down to IP phone tools, IP phone settings editor. We don't need the file commands, we only need the active options because the setting file is already configured. The parameter we are looking for is the WML home parameter. We have to populate it with the IP address of the utility services and the startup page or landing page on the utility services that is for the directory application. Since the parameters are good, just scroll down to the bottom and save the settings file. Once the settings are saved, we can reboot our IP phones. So they will go through the regular boot cycle and they will pick up the parameters defined in the 46xx settings.txt file. Now we are ready to configure the directory application. For that we go into administration, select the directory application menu item. Here select the general settings. Now we are configuring the first directory application on the server, but you have the possibility to select up to 250 different applications and configure various directory servers or search bases or various languages. You can select a custom application title that the IP phone browser will show for the given application. You can enable or disable the HTTP HTTPS interface. And you have to populate the LDAP server administration fields. These fields are usually provided by your LDAP server administrator team. You can scroll down to the search screen settings. These are the fields that will be provided by the directory application to the IP phone in the phone's browser. You can customize or leave the most commonly used fields populated. Based on these settings, the IP phone user can search based on name information and phone number information. 
can scroll down to the detail screen settings. The head of search is performed in two stages. The first stage is where the user is entering the search pattern that uh, he or she is looking for. You will be offered or provided with a list of results. This in case the search pattern matches two or more items on the LDAP directory server. The user can select uh, any of these and get to the details screen. So on this screen we are configuring what the details that are offered or presented to the user are. Notice the little checkbox called dialable. If this is selected then the given result field will be a link that the IP phone can use as a dial string. And we can scroll down to LDAP filter settings where the filter specified are restricting the search results. The search only return results for entries that the values specified here are matching in an AND logical relation. Once all necessary fields are populated, you can test the connection, which will perform an LDAP binding with the LDAP server. If the connection was successful, you can save the settings. So let's see how this works. We already restarted our IP phone, so it picked up the WML home parameter from the forge6xxsettings.txt file. Select the phone's menu, where a browser application is now available because of this setting. Phone's WML browser will open the landing page specified in the Fort6XX settings the TXT phone configuration file by the WML home parameter. This is the landing page of the utility services. The entries we are seeing here can be configured with the My Phone Admin application of the utility services under the WML links. Select the directory application and perform a test search. Here we can search based on name and phone number. These are the fields we specified in the directory application's configuration screen as a search attribute. As an example, I'm going to search for my name. Select search. When I clicked on the search button, an LDAP query was sent up to the Active Directory server that was specified in the directory application configuration screen, and the search results are presented. Notice that the phone number is presented as a link, and this is because the phone number parameter was specified as dialable. So let's select that, and the phone is making a phone call to that number. The prefixes the phone is inserting are also coming and configurable by the 46xx settings.txt file. Thank you for your time today. We welcome comments, questions and feedback at mentor at hawaii.com or on Twitter at hawaiimentor. For more details or related information, please visit support.hawaii.com. Thank you for choosing Hawaii.